What's up guys, and for today's video, I'm showing you the top 7 most underrated fantasy draft picks for the 2024-2025 NFL season. These 7 people will help you win your league. Now, let's get into the intro. Okay, at number seven, we have Jordan Love. Jordan Love was the fifth best quarterback last year. And the first six weeks, he was terrible. I think with now, I think he was super pretty good last year. And that was his first NFL year. I'm pretty sure first year in the NFL. I think he will have a way better sophomore year. And he's not going that high in draft picks. I would not be surprised if he might be the 10th quarterback, 10th, 9th, 8th, one of those off the range, and could end up being top five quarterback in the league. At number six, we have another quarterback, Caleb Williams. Everybody's seen what he has done in the preseason. It's look like he might be one of the next, like, Patrick Mahomes. And he's not going that high, of course. I only have him at six because he's a rookie, and he could be bad. But right now, what he's looking in the preseason, he looks like he could have potential to be top 10 quarterback, and he's only been picking at, I think, top 20. But then next, one of my personal favorites as a Jags fan, ETN, Travis ETN, running back for Jags. He was like the fourth or fifth best running back last year, and nothing's really gotten worse for him. They uh, shipped out Ridley. I think he's going to have a better role in this offense with um, Trevor Lawrence on injured last season because they have that connection with college. He's He can catch the ball, PPR leagues he's super good in, and he can run the ball. Okay, we have Johnny here doing our number four person. Who is our number four person? Um, Jordan Love. No, oh. Demio Douglas. Demio Douglas. He's a Patriots player. Patriots, yeah. And, Why was he? And the Patriots do not that have many good options, as we know. Yeah. They suck. Uh, but Demio Douglas could be the best uh, option it's, in the worst Kendrick. team. No. What about Kendrick? That one Kendrick. No. <laughs> it's the Mary Douglas. And he, some leagues, he's not even getting drafted. I know. So he could be, right now, maybe ranked top 50 wide receiver. Could get up in that top 30 range. If you're in a 12 team league, the Mary Doug Douglas could be a good steal. Only 12 team. 10, maybe, if you need a, a good bench player. But 12 team leagues, he's severely undervalued. Now that was your Where did you get your resources from? I researched. Okay, let's get into number three. At number three, we have Christian Watson from the Green Bay Packers. It's kind of like the Jordan Love, but he was injured most of last season, except of Jordan Love just being bad. He's the number one option in a good Packers offense, and if he stays available, he would be maybe a maybe a start on some 10 team leagues and could be a good bench player on eight and maybe start maybe a flex in 18 weeks it depends but he's a second year player i think he's going to get better wait second or third one of those i think he's going to get better like the number two on this list Jalen water Jalen water did not have the what i thought i thought he was going to be better last season yes the, he was good but I thought maybe he was trying to step down for Tyreek Hill, but Tyreek Hill just went up. But I think this is the year. Tyreek Hill's old. He has a good chance of getting injured. And that's where Jalen Water steps in. And one of the best offenses in the league. He's one of the, probably the best number two uh, wide receiver. And if Tyreek Hill's old, he, if he gets injured, he could be a number one wide receiver for your fans team. He is going right now, Jalen Water, in the third round. He's ranked like I think top fifteen uh, wide receivers, but he I would not be surprised if he's a top ten. Maybe if Tyreek Hill gets injured, top five wide receiver. But at number one, 
the most underrated is also wide receiver. And at number one, another wide receiver. Been picking around wide receiver 20, he's been top 20 wide receiver, but he's always been top 15 wide receiver. Has now a way better quarterback, a way better team all around him. Doesn't have that many competition for the, th uh, for the number one role, and it is the number one role. Scary Terry Terry McLaurin. He is super underrated. People, no one's talking about oh, Terry McLaurin, but he has been promoted top 15, top 10, but now he's at his, he's going to have his best wide receiver ever. If Jaden Daniels it shows to be what he did in college. And I think he could maybe be a top 10 wide receiver. And you could get him maybe in the fifth round and 12 team leap, sixth round. That is still people picking him maybe for the flex or number two wide receiver. He could be a number one wide receiver. He could be a. Mm, who should I? He could be like a Nico Collins last year. Or like a Tank Dell, which they all put up good numbers and were severely underrated. But thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe so you can have some more advice for your fantasy league. Also, uh, every single Tuesday when I start school, it is going to be the ja it's going to be a Jags podcast, which I talk about fantasy, and I'm going to talk about some other football stuff and the Jags because I'm a Jags fan. Thanks for watching. Bye.